You ever wake up and think, fuck this shit, fuck the world, I want to stay in bed. Is this anxiety? Is this depression? Is this just an Irish flu? Bad hair day, maybe. We've all got a shadow that we occasionally have to deal with, and it's kind of an asshole. It's often beneficial if we find someone else who also has an asshole shadow, so we know we're not the only asshole with the asshole shadow. You know, like these couple of assholes right here. What's an asshole with an asshole shadow to do? Curl up on the couch and watch rom-coms and shit? Well, fuck that. You do what you want, but here's how we do. Places become permeated with our memories. Every shitty thing, every fucked up feeling experienced in a place, including your home, is still playing in the background static of your mind. When we're tired and worn down, sick, anxious, depressed, we don't have enough oomph to override those negative triggers, and the static consumes our mind, and we don't even know what the fuck is happening, so... We cast about for a why, and we always manage to find a why, don't we? Bullshit though it may be. So what for Nicholas and I do is we change the fucking scenery. We go into the bush. Bush. And we push. We push our meat tractors to their limits. And we become flooded with endorphins, and that shit feels good. We push our minds out of their proclivity to search and find some fucking reason that we feel like shit. If we're at work, we make it about our job. If we're at home, we make it about our partner or family. We make it about our friends. We make it about everything other than what it's really about. That shadowy background static in our fucking subconscious. Our negative thoughts are like mycelium, consuming a log, a vast network of tendrils eating away at all that punky wood we've suppressed. We don't see the mycelium, we see the shrooms that pop up, the outburst, the shitty thing we said or did, and that's all anyone else sees too, the asshole side of you. Are you tired of feeling like shit? Well, let's go break the cycle. Go fucking do something, anything. My old fat ass goes into the woods and I follow steep ass fucked up deer trails and I try not to break my dick. When our subconscious shadow is running amok, it wants to turn everything into a problem, so we go make real problems, like how to haul our old fat asses up some steep ass hills. And then as a reward to ourselves, we dirt surf back down to the flatlands, and if we don't fall on our full heads, then we become invigorated and we've earned the mental fortitude to fight off the shadow within. Now if you aren't familiar with dirt surfing, it's because maybe it's not really a thing. I don't know. But it's a thing for us, so the point is, go find a fucking thing. Go make up a thing. I know not everyone lives at the edge of a forest, but you can make do. Go wear an embarrassing hat in public and fucking own it. Go walk up to someone and give a genuine compliment, then walk the fuck away forever. Go plant sunflower seeds in random places whilst humming Christmas tunes. I'm not the fucking boss of you, so figure it the fuck out. Also, just saying, I'm not advocating dirt surfing. We're professional, fucked up motherfuckers, so, you know, don't try this at home. Or do fuck it, whatever. The point is, uh, if you can get out of your head, then fucking go outside instead. Doesn't matter where you go, you're just trying to confuse your shadow. Anything that doesn't break your dick makes you stronger. Wait, I don't think that's how that goes. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Come on, vanquish that shadow with me. At fucking cetera. We don't have to fucking solve every mystery in our mind all at once. We just have to learn to navigate our lives better. Don't, you know, trap yourself in a fucked up mental room. Go find a forest and smell a fucking shroom. It smells like Mother Nature's crotch, kind of. <laughs> don't get stuck behind your front door. Go move a shroom around and spread some spore. I promise it's going to be alright. As long as you expose your shadow to the light.